Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the portfolio. Welcome back to the channel. Great to have everyone back on the YouTube series. As always, want to first say thank yous to all the viewers and all the subscribers supporting the channel. Immensely appreciate that. For today's video, just want to do a quick update on the portfolio. One week's worth of performance this past week has been very well, as well as doing an all portfolio review. A few viewers have requested this. There's been quite a few changes since my last update, my last all portfolio review. So I thought I'd take the opportunity to, again, update you guys on the last one week's worth of performance and then going through all of the current holdings in the portfolio. First, last week here, you can see very robust rebound here, 11.93% in the green, 61,932 in one month as well, rebounding very nicely here, 37.77%, 159,243 in the green, pushing the portfolio just under 581,000, currently 580,906. Scrolling down, you can see all of the options that are currently on the portfolio. I think I'll do a dedicated video going through all of these options contracts and my philosophy, how I'm picking these contracts, what my goal is. There's quite a few here. It's getting quite complicated. I'm doing a lot of rolling with these options. It is important to note that I'm only selling off options. I'm not doing the more risky, but more profitable, potentially more profitable play in buying uh, call contracts, put contracts. I'm only selling these off selling covered calls and cash secured puts. I think that's the more conservative and I think it's the better long-term strategy with options trading. And here are all of the current stock holdings. Again, I wanna go through in detail all of the holdings currently in the portfolio. There's been quite a few changes. I've sold off, for example, all of my ETFs. I've sold, sold off CGC, uh, Robinhood, HLOD, some of the larger holdings in the portfolio been really focusing on some dividend stocks and then stocks I've been doing my options trades with uh, covered calls primarily to make dividend income, excuse me, to make premium income to supplement my dividend income on a weekly basis. So let's go ahead and jump into the portfolio here. If you guys have watched prior all portfolio review videos, I have all of these stocks arranged with regards to market segment. First starting on top of the portfolio with healthcare stocks, pharmaceutical stocks, starting with ABBV Avi. This is one of the original holdings in the Robinhood portfolio. You can see on the bottom, I position 31 shares, 4,451 portfolio diversity 0.47%. So please take a look at that when we go through the portfolio to give you guys an idea of how much of these particular holdings I have in the portfolio. And for dividend yield here, you can see a nice dividend yield of 3.6%. So this is a very good long-term dividend stock. Uh, also, another healthcare stock, pharmaceutical stock, Eli Lilly and Company, LLY, five shares, 1648.45. Again, portfolio diversity on the bottom, 0.17%. Pfizer, one of the original stocks in the Robinhood portfolio, PFE, 130 shares, 65.58.5. Another good dividend stock as well, with a dividend yield of 3.1%. Uh, VTRS, this was a stock that I got because I held Pfizer, an offshoot company in the middle. You can see average cost is zero. Again, this was simply uh, credited to the portfolio because I earned, or excuse me, because I owned a certain amount of Pfizer. Uh, market value in the middle, 156, 16 shares. Uh, Abbott Laboratories moving over into healthcare services companies. ABT, 60 shares, 6,530. Another good dividend stock on the bottom. 1.7%. I think in the past it was a little bit higher than that in the 3 to 4% range. Uh, but nevertheless, a very good long term stock to hold in the portfolio. Johnson and Johnson, six shares, $1,045.80. Uh, Boeing moving over into industrials, aerospace, and defense. This is one of the largest holdings in the portfolio. I think currently the third largest holding in the middle portfolio diversity, 20.23%. I have 1,200 shares. For market value of 190,836. Unfortunately, in the middle, total return is down at 9.4% in the red, 19,800. That is because Boeing has been pulling back. Uh, short term here, it's been rebounding quite nicely, but one year you can see it's down 31.95%. So I'm actually lucky I'm only down 9.4%. Been doing a lot of covered calls with Boeing. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of those on the bottom of the screen. You can see been rolling this forward for quite some time. 816, 180, 3180, 480. 
on the bottom of the screen, you can see uh, 1,095, 1,440, 2,796, 2,172, 2,036. I've been doing a lot of calls with Boeing here, making substantial income. Uh, unfortunately, this is a stock that lost its dividend. This was a very good dividend stock, uh, but you can see here in the middle, the dividend yield is currently negative, or excuse me, currently uh, not available because there is no dividend. And it probably will be a few years before dividends do return with Boeing. Uh, moving on here, Airbus, EADSY, two shares, 53.74. Lockheed Martin, LMT, one share, 413.81. And you guys may be wondering why some of these stocks only have one share. That is because these were the original stocks that I put into the Robinhood portfolio when I established this back in 2016. Kind of just kept these stocks in the portfolio. Not substantial holdings, uh, but basically leftovers from that initial portfolio. Uh, 3M here, MMM, moving into conglomerates within industrials. 12 shares, 17, 18, 40. Illinois Tool Works, ITW, one share, 207.76. CNI, Canadian National Railroad, one share, 126.68. Union Pacific, UNP, one share, 227.30. International Paper, IP, two shares, 85.54. Uh, CTVA, another stock that I got because I held, I think for uh, Dow Chemical was the initial stock that I held. Broke up into three different companies, so average cost again in the middle of zero dollars. Two shares, one fifteen ten. Dupont here, DD. Two shares, one twenty one eighty four. Dow, D O W. Two shares, one oh six forty. Uh, Ford Motor Company now moving into consumer discretionary automotive. Uh, one of the largest holdings in the portfolio, the second largest holding, as you can see on the bottom of the screen, thirty point, excuse me, thirty five point five two percent market value, three thirty five. 27 total return 40 percent uh 95,671 in the green but at one point that was more like 160 percent rate of return uh, well over two hundred thousand uh, dollars but it has been rebounding here quite nicely today up another 4.89 percent past week up 13.76 percent uh, and one month up a very nice 33.24 percent and again i've been doing quite a few Covered calls with Ford Motor Company as we detailed on the last video. Again, going through some of these 2,298, uh, excuse me, 657, at 13,199. I did have that call assignment that I talked about yesterday. 5,040, 2,160, 2,629. So I've been making very good income on a weekly basis with Ford Motor Company. But moving on to the portfolio, GM, uh, one share, 3,615 in the portfolio. A Tesla, this is the largest holding by quite a large margin, as you can see in the middle of the screen. Portfolio diversity, 56.61%, $534,000. Uh, the total return now is positive at 1.17% because of the very nice rebound here, just like Ford Motor Company over the past few weeks of trading. One week up nine, excuse me, 8.96%, one month up 32.19%. So very, very happy with Tesla so far. I do have quite a few covered calls that are still pending here. Have been rolling those out and up to avoid early assignment. But you can see here, very, very robust premium to the account. 1770, uh, 2260, 2100, 2092, 1200. On the bottom, 10,800. So very good stock so far for the portfolio. Uh, moving forward here, Garmin. GRMN, two shares, 195.24. Uh, Yum Brands here uh, in uh, restaurants, uh, YUM, one share, 122.54. YUMC, the China offshoot, one share, 48.71. Uh, VFC, 10 shares, 448.20. Another very good dividend stock, as you can see in the middle of the screen, 4.1% for dividend yield for VFC, VF Corp. Now moving on to consumer staples. Uh, first with agriculture, ADM, two shares, 165.46. Colgate moving into household goods, eight shares, 631.92. KMB, Kimberly Clark, two shares, 263.58. Uh, Hershey's, HSY, two shares, 455.92. KHC Craft Foods, 18 shares, 662.94. Procter & Gamble, PG, six shares, 835. 
Uh, Bud, BUD, and Heiser Bush. Six shares, 321.24. Coca Cola moving into beverage companies here along with Budweiser. 12 shares, 770. Uh, Huntington Bank shares moving into finance, into banks. Four shares, 52.92. Uh, Coinbase, C O I N, a crypto uh, stock. Uh, it's been basically very volatile over the last few months of trading. The SEC is currently investigating it for advertising securities. Um, it's going to be very interesting to see what happens with Coinbase. But very large holding here, 500 shares, $31,070. This was a very risky play. You can see the average cost in my portfolio, 230. So the rate of return here is a whopping 73% in the red, 83,930 to be precise. So I do hope this rebounds here. This is a very risky play. That's what I established this Robinhood portfolio for, all of my risky trades, but this has definitely not been a stellar trade for the portfolio. And that is just kind of highlighted here, the five year graph, that very large pullback, 75.14%, one year down 74.3%. So hope to get some earnings back with coin. Uh, Morgan Stanley, Moving uh, into uh, the later part of the banks here in the portfolio, 10 shares, 843.30. Uh, Old Republic, ORI, insurance company, 70 shares, 1628 market value. Uh, moving over into IT, uh, IBM, three shares, 391.95. AMD, three shares, uh, 283.56. And Intel, INTC, 13 shares, 469.30. I do have uh, one share of Microsoft as well, MSFT, one share 280.62, Verizon for telecoms, three shares 138.48, Consolidated Edison, moving into utilities, five shares 496.35, Southern, three shares 230.67, FRT moving into real estate, inv real estate investment trusts, six shares 633.66, these typically have very good dividends. For FRT here, you can see 4.1% for dividend yield. Realty income, O, 40 shares, 29.59. Uh, dividend yield here, a nice 3.9% as well. Uh, STAG, one of the original stocks in the portfolio, the Robinhood portfolio from 2016. One share, 32.78. An MARA, kind of a penny stock I jumped into. Quite dramatic pricing, actually. You can see my average cost is zero. I actually did buy this, but it was only, I think, like three cents when I bought it. And you can see the dramatic graph here, five-year graph. Uh, at one point, I think there were some reverse splits here. 50 cents, getting up to, I think, in the $70 range, $75.92, before pulling back here to $12.97. So very interesting stock. Uh, kind of highlighting the risk with penny stocks. You can make quite a bit of money, but you can also lose quite a bit of money in a very short amount of time. So that is the portfolio. I'll kind of back off here and go through all of the stocks again. One month and one week here up 11.93%, 61,932 in the green, options contracts, and all of the stocks currently in the portfolio. So again, just wanted to take the opportunity to go through all of this week's worth of performance. So I did forget here, I do have a couple uh, cryptocurrency holdings as well. Ethereum, uh, I have... Uh, just a partial a coin amount here, equity 142.73, so 0 0.08 of Ethereum and Litecoin. Quite a few coins here. I think I have 60.1 coins. Yep, 60.1. 60 I bought on Robinhood. One, excuse me, 0.1 that I transferred in from my cryptocurrency mining operation. Uh, just to test it out here, to test moving some coins onto Robinhood. Equity, you can see 3,686. Uh, so again, just want to take the quick opportunity to go through the portfolio and then update you guys on the last one week's worth of performance. Tomorrow, I hope to do an update on all of the options contracts, talking a little bit more in detail on exactly what I'm doing with all of my options trades. So with that, I'll end the video. Again, if you guys enjoy the content on the channel, if you guys enjoy the video series, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. If there's a particular topic that you guys want to have on the channel, please let me know in the comment threads down below, and I'll do my best to get out a video for you guys. So until next video, we'll see you then.